Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week, Steve and I are in the far north. What we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to set the contiki and we've brought along the surf casters as well. Just going to probably do a couple of sets tonight. Got a little bit of a cross shore, not too much of an um, issue for us. But um, yeah, contiki time in the far north and a little bit of surf casting. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Steve is just setting up the uh, seahorse there and I'm going to get my um, surf caster ready. Now um, the rig I'm going to start with is just a dropper rig that I've put together. It's about a metre long. I'm going to run a three ounce breakaway and what I've done is I've chucked on a little um, ball float and a little uh, bead there, seven barrow hook and up to the swivel. I'm going to run braid basically off the beach, There's no snags or anything like that. So just uh, yeah, braid, get a little bit further out. But um, hopefully uh, we've got a few fish turning up in the afternoon. And um, more so for me on the surf cast, I quite like obviously surf casting. It's a beautiful beach, nobody here, all by ourselves. What I'm gonna do is I'll go and cast the surf caster first. And that helps for setting the contiki. Because the Contiki is a GPS model, uh, we want to set it so it goes straight out. Got a cross shore, so we want to probably adjust it to um, for that cross shore wind. But we don't know what the uh, actual current's doing or anything like that. So casting in the surf caster first uh, helps us figure out if we want to offset it and at what angle. So I'll chuck out the surf caster. Now before you go out there and get wet up to your waist or your chest, best thing to do is just cast from sort of your knee, knee deep, do all that, get all wet and then you find out the fish is right there, just in the drop off there, it's dead low tide so it drops away quite quickly and there's no use getting all wet and the fish are in close so don't get too wet on your first couple of casts, if you're not getting any bites then get wet so you're getting a little bit further out. basically up to my knees. Let's give it a good flick. Hold your rod out once you cast to where the, where the sinker was going to and that allows the line to go through the guides a lot better. If you're sort of holding it up after you've cast it's having to go through the guides you don't get as far on your cast. So cast out, hold the rod straight out so the line's just going straight through the guides really well. And I've got the breakaway sinker on there so I can pull up a little bit tight. Letting line out as I'm coming back. If you don't let the line out as you're coming back, your breakaway will give way. So you always let line out to where you're coming back to. And that's a great thing with these uh, breakaways. You can put a bit of tension on the line. So that went out at about sort of 70, 80 meters. We've got the breakers breaking right on the lip there as it sort of drops away. It's quite bright and it's a beautiful clean beach. So not too sure if the fish are gonna be in here yet. Obviously better in the late afternoon as it sun's going down and it's actually a good tide, tide's coming in. So the current doesn't feel too bad, I can feel the pull of the wind. 
but not a real heavy um, drag on the current so at least we know pretty much set the contiki just straight out so we've got the surf caster out steve-o's just baiting up got some mullet there brought along the table makes it a little bit easier bought a bit of squid we might chuck on a bit of squid actually as well just to mix it up but hopefully get a um, kawai on the surf caster or in our first set it's quite um, cool to use fresh bait and the kawai stays on really well I was just up there helping Steve-O baiting up the contiki looked back and the rod was buckled over And that's when those mutsus or recurve hooks come in handy. I actually don't have one of those on because I was hoping to hold the rod and obviously strike when the fish bit. But um, I'll just see what happens on this bait. I'll leave it, get back there, help Stevo, get the contiki out, put a fresh bait on. And uh, I'll actually hold the rod in case I get a strike. It was a real nice strike. Not sure what it was. It looks snapperish, but you just never know. Get some nice trevally off, off the beach here. Obviously Carway. Just had another little tap. Just a real small tap that one. And the good thing to do when you're getting bites, take the rod out of the rod holder and get ready for the, for the bite. Because you don't want it sitting in the rod holder and you get another bite and you miss it again. So I'll just go and help Steve-O, we're just about ready to set the con ticky. And I might as well leave it out, there still could be some bait left. Got a bit of mullet on there, so sometimes the skin will stay on. Fish will still smell the skin and come in and have another go. So we're all set, ready to rock. Got the table there, set up the baits on the table. As I was winding my line and I actually wound it in just to um, keep it out the way. Saw this big shadow cruise down the beach, must have been about 10 foot long, probably a big bronzy just cruising. Let's hope it don't chomp on our fish. Pretty much got the beach to ourselves. There's nobody else here. It's just great. You can actually head out somewhere and have the whole beach. Beach is over a K long, and we're the only ones on here fishing. So I'm hooked up. Steve-O's winding in the contiki, and just as I went over to help him, as things do when you're fishing. Way the rod goes. It's just a uh, kawai there, which is all good. Means fresh bait for not only the contiki, but for me as well, surf casting. There you go. Nice big kawai. So, yep, bit of fresh bait for our second set on the contiki. And a bit of fresh bait for my uh, surf casting. We're actually, what we're going to do is tomorrow morning, going to get up at about half four, head over for a surf cast over in the harbour there, 
got a nice hole over there in the dead low tide which is tomorrow morning and we'll use some of this car wire as well maybe if we've got any left but um yeah let's get them dispatched even though it's just a car wire you want to still dispatch them as soon as possible steve is winding in the uh contiki fingers crossed we've got a few fish No one else on the beach but us. Can't ask for much more than that. Got the surf casts are out again. This is such a beautiful place. Hooked up again. Feels a little bit different. Maybe a Trevally. It's got some hurt to it. Feels like a big Trevally. It's got a big tail on it. <laughs> Whatever it is. Big Trevally, I think, yep. Yeah. Oh, look at it! Look at it, Steve-O! Look at the size of it! It's a monster! Steve-O! It's a monster! It's the biggest trevally I think I've ever caught off the beach. I've had some big ones in the boat. But man, what a donkey! Got a couple of fish. Steve has got another one there, there's one in the bin already. Another little snap. Now we got nothing on our first set. And um, obviously it was sort of, the sun was still up. And uh, the good old setting just before dark has done the trip for us. Another snapper. Baits are gone. Steve has got another snapper coming in. Obviously, uh, sorry guys, it's hard to see. Being dark, but um, as we all know, best times for fishing is on dark, just before dark, just before light and um, it's definitely proven another snapper you can see a few more uh, floating down there definitely done quite well on this set so far we've got about four or five and although it is um, quite difficult sometimes when it's dark can be the best times. steve has got another fish there. And there's a couple more. It's definitely a lot better this set. our first small fish it's probably takeable around that 32 but he's um, kicking quite well so we'll let him go got another nice fish just sitting here with Steve-O a lot better fish 
that's why we sort of chuck back those smaller fish. There's another nice fish steve has got there. Bin's filling up quite well. steve has got another one. They're all roughly around that same size. Apart from that little one that we had, they're all roughly around that sort of 40 to 45 centimetres, easily. There you go guys. <laughs> It's pretty much us for the night. That was a good set, good little set there. And uh, nothing big, but they're all roughly around that 40, 45 centimetres. We only got the one that we had to put back. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We definitely did, didn't get anything in that first set like I was saying. So the second set on dark, it was the uh, go. So yeah, till next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with real Kiwi fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.